I'm in the midst of reading a fantastic book at the moment, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. It was originally released as the Taliban Shuffle. Yes. To my delight, I have discovered that this movie is about to start in cinemas tomorrow. It stars not only Tina Fey, you may mm-hmm. have heard of her, but the extraordinary Stephen Peacock. <laughs> yes. Straight from Brax into Afghanistan. He joins us now. Hello, mm. Stephen. Hello. Thank you for having me. Well, no, not straight from Brax because Brax left Summer Bay. Mm. Yes, yes. But then he came back. He finds his way back. He's a bit of a boomerang. Oh, Brax, but uh, yes, uh, he, he had enough time away from the show for me to, to go over to mm. America and, and, and do this film, which was great. I did like Brax in jail. I'm not dwelling on Brax, <laughs> but uh, Brax in jail was good. He makes a good jailbird. But then you went into Wanted, and then you were a cop. I've gone from one side of the law yeah. to the other, which is uh, good fun in itself. Well, that would make you as a perfect New South Wales cop, because that's... <laughs> <laughs> That's, I've yeah. got a I've got a mate who's a copper up in Tari and I'll yeah I'll have to call him after this to see what he thinks. <laughs> now with this, how does this come about? What an extraordinary thing to find yourself in a Tina Fey movie. It was extraordinary. I was very lucky. I just finished up on um, Home and Away, and it was bizarre. I put down an audition from Sydney on tape. The director saw it, and then I had a call back via Skype from Darwin with a delayed Skype sort of thing. So I was acting through my iPad to someone in LA. And I did the, the, the audition. I thought, oh, I've blown that because I couldn't hear the lines properly. And I called my agent and said, look, sorry, stuff that one up. But then somehow got the role. And next thing yet, yeah, Tina Fey, Martin Freeman, Margot Robbie and Billy Bob Thornton, all these legends. Wow. It was wow. great. Extraordinary. From what I know, I mean, I haven't finished the book. So can you not tell me what happens in the movie? I'd really appreciate it. But um, <laughs> They didn't win the war. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but it's a fascinating part of history. This is where... Uh, America's in Afghanistan, then most of the troops plus the media and the eyes of the world go to Iraq and Afghanistan is still in trouble and no one can see it coming. That's right, yeah. All the funds and soldiers and resources got sort of, yeah, went to Iraq and there were a whole heap of people sort of in Afghanistan wondering how to keep it relevant in America and Australia and everywhere. This story is about um, this journalist who got a job from America, went over there, threw herself in the deep end. No idea. No mm. idea. And it was just a crazy world um, where they had this thing called the Fun House, um, which was where they all kind of went to, to let their hair down every night. By day, they're out covering battles, you know, in, in full army contacts. And it's exciting. It's mm. an exciting place to by be. By day, they're doing that. And by night, when rockets go overhead, they're going, woohoo, and drinking and dancing. Yeah, it was crazy. But I guess when you're in a war zone, you need somewhere to kind of let the hair down. So that's what they did. Well, when they used to watch MASH, they're always hanging out in the swamp, making their own booze. That's right, yeah. And Listening to Hawkeye and... be boring. As your star continues to rise, you're in Hercules, <laughs> and you've worked with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yes. And now you're working with Tina Fey. Have, who else, Who have you hung out with? Are you are your pals with like Brad Pitt or anyone like that? <laughs> have you climbed that ladder? No, no. Look, I'm, and to be fair, I'm, I'm a pretty small part in this film as well. But um, when we're, we shot it in uh, New Mexico, so it's Albuquerque, there's a big air base there. So we used all the American um, hardware to, to make the film. And because it was kind of, everyone was away from home. So we had this, naturally found this nice little group of people we'd go out and have dinner every night. And yeah, you got to know people like Martin Freeman. I, I love The Office. I don't know yes, if you watched the yes. through university. That was my show. Yep. I was one of the nerds that could quote lines and all kinds of things. So working with him and then you know going out and having a glass of red at night and talking with Tina Fey. Uh, oh no! Well, Tina, yeah, Tina was oh. Tina was cool. We we got to hang out with her. And the good thing about these people on that film was everyone was so normal and nice. And I think that's why they're so successful because. Off screen, they're just top people. Oh, I'm so, so jealous. You'd love to meet her. She's <laughs> oh, lovely. I love her. Yeah, yeah, now, great. also, you have a very heavy hitting American agent. You're with CAA. These guys own Hollywood. What's <laughs> it like knocking on the door and going in there? Going in there, yeah, you can see all kinds of people. I mean, they represent Brad Pitt and, you know, all these legends that I've grown up watching. So, um, yeah, I and still you're get, in there. Yeah, well, I think they think I'm there to clean or oh, or no. to, to get a coffee for them or something. They throw their car keys at you and yeah, say, park go, the car. go park, go park the Lamborghini. It's pretty awesome. Um, and I do get starstruck. I've, I've just recently met a few people that um, I've admired for years, so it's been pretty cool. Pretty like, cool. like who? Well, at, we had a screening in New York at the Museum of Modern Art. Uh, there was like fifty people. Barbara Walters was there. Oh. And Diane, sorry, I, oh. I, I went in. I was I was busting. I was a bit nervous, so I went in to have a leak and yeah. <laughs> walking out John McEnroe 
It was walking in. Wow. <laughs> Did you say anything to I him? didn't. I said, I'm not responsible for what yeah. happened in there, what you're about to walk into. <laughs> Did, he say, Did he say, you cannot be serious? <laughs> you cannot. You cannot. That was out. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. And then where I was supposed to be sitting in the screening, right behind me was um, Tom Hanks was there oh. and, and Steve Martin, all these people. It must people be over. hard not to because you just want to blurt. You just want to go, whoa, it's Tom Hanks. So you've got to be kind of cool. Yeah, I just keep my distance, actually. I, I escaped from that room because I got a bit too nervous. But um, I went straight home and... And, and rang my wife and told her who I just seen. I was very yes. excited. <laughs> so well, you ran away home and rang your wife. Yeah, yeah. It's like you used to run, run, run away home and ring mum and say, yeah, you know, yeah. I scored a try or whatever. But yeah, <laughs> yeah the call, call I tackled Tom Hanks. <laughs> I tackled Tom. <laughs> yeah, I put a hit on Tom Hanks. <laughs> and I weed on the floor in front of John. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. All the things you're supposed to do if you're climbing the ladder over there. Yeah. Uh, well, Steve, it's always great to see you. Whiskey Tango Fox. I can't wait to see this film. I'm very excited. Yeah, it's a, I saw a screening of it and I walked out. And the first thing I said was, wow, I'm actually part of something that's unreal. So I, I think you'll enjoy it. Excellent. It's in cinemas tomorrow. Thank you, Stephen Peacock. Thank you for having me. Nice to be here.